Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? Hope you are well. I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today I would like to take class on Bangladesh and Global Studies for class 9, chapter 3, lesson 3.2, topic Imaginary Lines. After the end of the lesson, you will be able to define axis, equator, latitude, longitude, parallels of latitude, meridians of longitude, etc. And you will be able to explain differences between parallels of latitude and meridians of lat longitudes. Now, axis. The earth is almost round or spherical in shape. This figure represents the earth. In this figure, the red colored and vertical line is the axis. The line imagined at the north-south through the center of the earth is called axis. In other words, the imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth from the north pole to the south pole is called axis. Axis is a vertical line. It runs from north to south. The northern extreme point of axis is called the North Pole or Antarctic and the southern end point of the axis is called South Pole or the Antarctic. The Earth rotates on this axis from west to east regularly. Due to the rotation of the Earth on this axis, day and night happen. Dear student, look at the figure again. In the figure, the red colored and vertical line is the axis. Now equator. The line imagined from west to east keeping equal distance from north pole and south pole is called equator. It is a horizontal line. It runs from west to east. Due to the spherical shape of the earth, this line is circular in size. So, this is also known as equatorial circle. It is a full circle over the surface of the earth running from west to east. That is, this line surrounds the earth from west to east. Equator serves zero degree. It is also called zero degree latitude. In the figure, the red colored and horizontal line is the equator. Equator has divided the earth into two equal parts. The upper part of equator is called northern hemisphere and the lower part is known as the southern hemisphere. The distance of north pole from the equator is 90 degree and that of south pole is 90 degree. Dear student, look at the figure. The northern part of the earth is called northern hemisphere. It is located to the north side of equator, to the upper side of equator, while to the lower side of equator, it is the southern hemisphere. Dear student, have a look at the figure again. In the figure, the red color and horizontal line is the equator. It is a full circle. It runs from west to east. Now, latitude. The angular distance of any place or region from equator either to the north or south, south is called latitude. Latitude is measured in degree. The value of equator is not zero degree. The latitude of north pole is 90 degree north and that of south pole is 90 degree south. That is, the distance of equator, the distance from equator to north pole is 90 degree and from equator to south pole 90 degree. The highest latitude 90 degree. Latitude is divided into minutes and second as well. One degree latitude contains 60 minutes and one minute latitude contains 60 seconds. Now, parallel of latitudes. 
many lines are imagined from west to east like equator they are called parallel parallels of latitude these lines are full circle and parallel to each other they are horizontal line the circumference of latitudes is not equal they run from west to east we imagine 90 parallels of latitude in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallels of latitude in the southern hemisphere dear student in the figure some important parallels of latitudes are given just above the equator there is a horizontal line full circle it is called tropic of cancer the tropic of cancer keep 23.5 degree distance from equator to the south side of equator there is another parallel of latitude which is known as tropic of capricorn it keeps 23.5 degree distance from equator to the south side another important parallel of latitude is arctic circle it keeps 66.5 degree distance from equator to the north side on the other hand to the south side 66.5 degree latitude or circle is called Antarctic circle. It keeps 66.5 degree distance from equator. These are the very important parallels of latitude. Types of latitude. Latitudes are of three types such as lower latitude, middle latitude and upper latitude. Lower latitude the latitudes nearer to the equator are called lower latitude or the latitude possessing 0 degree to 30 degree is called lower latitude. For example, 23 point north latitude that is Tropic of Cancer and 23.5 degree south that is Tropic of Capricorn are included in the lower latitude. Now middle latitude. The latitudes having the value of 30 degree to 60 degree are called middle latitude or the latitude possessing 60 degree to 30 degree to 60 degree is called middle latitude. Now upper latitude. The latitude possessing 60 degree to 90 degree is called upper latitude or the latitudes nearer to the subpolar region are called upper latitude. For example, 66.5 degree north latitude that is Arctic Circle and 66.5 degree south latitude that is Antarctic Circle are the example of upper latitude. As much as you go to the north pole or south pole from equator, latitude gradually increases if the latitude increases the circumference will decreases the circumference of lower latitude is more than that of middle and upper latitudes and the circumference of middle latitude is more than upper latitude so dear students i like to repeat what is latitude Latitude is the angular distance of any place from equator either to the north or south. To the upper side or to the lower side of equator, many full circle are drawn, keep equal distance from each other. They are called parallels of latitude. They are horizontal line. They are full circle. They run from west to east or east to west. All the circumference of all latitudes are not equal, but they keep equal distance from each other. What is the use of latitude or parallels of latitude? On the same parallels of latitude, many countries or many regions are located. And in the same line, same temperature, same season prevail. Now, longitude, the angular distance of any place. So, 
Longitude is the angular distance of any place or region from the prime meridian to the east or west of the earth. Like latitude, longitude is measured in degree. Each degree longitude contains 60 minute longitude and each minute longitude contains 60 second longitude. Dear student, now prime meridian. In the figure, you can see a red colored vertical line. It is the prime meridian. But what is prime meridian? Prime meridian is a vertical line which passes over the surface of the earth from north pole to south pole. This line runs from north to south. Prime meridian intersect the equator and connects the north pole and the south pole. Like equator, the value of prime meridian is 0 degree. It is also called 0 degree longitude or meridian. Prime meridian is a semicircle. It is a vertical line. Prime meridian has divided the earth into two equal divisions such as Eastern Hemisphere and Western Hemisphere. In the figure, the right side of Prime Meridian is the Eastern Hemisphere and to the left side of Prime Meridian is the Western Hemisphere. Now Meridians of Longitude. Like Prime Meridian, a total of 300 60 vertical lines intersect the equator and connect the north pole and the south pole. These semicircle lines are called meridians of longitude, but length of all meridians is equal. The highest meridian is 180 degree. In the eastern hemisphere, there are 180 meridians and similarly in the western hemisphere, there are 180 meridians. What is the use of meridians? With the help of meridians or meridians of longitude, we can determine the time of that place. Dear students, I would like to compare between parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude. You have already learned that parallels of latitudes are full circle. They run from west to east. They are horizontal line. On the other hand, longitudes or meridians are semicircle. They run from north to south. That is, meridians of longitudes are semicircle. And dear students, longitudes are semicircle, while meridians are while parallels are full circle. The length of all parallels are not equal, while the length of all meridians are equal. The highest parallels or highest latitude is 90 degree, while highest meridian or longitudes is 180 degree. Parallels are horizontal lines. They are full circle, while meridians are semicircle. They run from north to south. Latitudes are used to know the temperature and season in different parts of the world, either to the north or south of equator, while Meridians are used to determine the time in different places of the earth either to the east or west of prime meridian. Dear students, there is a homework for you. Write the homework. Write at least five differences between latitudes and longitudes.
dear students in the next class i will discuss the calculation of time stay home keep safe pray for me i will pray for you thank you allah hafiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah